this video, we are building the ultimate bass fishing combo. Holiday season's here and the deals are rolling around. If you're looking to buy yourself or a loved one a combo that will last forever, this video is for you. And today we have Mr. Trey oh Way God, here to help us go. build this combo because everybody knows Trey is the absolute hammer on Old everyone's channel. <laughs> Trey is the hammer on everyone's channel that he graces his presence with. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. Now, let's get inside Bass Pro. First thing I look for whenever I'm building a new combo is the rod. It's like building a house. You start with the foundation and you work out. Oh, oh. For your little bougie friends out there. I about knocked a $300 rod over. <laughs> for all you bougie people out there, you got a $300 G Loomis. I always like to buy quality gear, buy once, cry once. Unfortunately, we flew down here and we can't take this home. So we're probably not gonna get this today. All right, we've combed over the entire fishing rod section and we've come down to the final two. Here we have a St. Croix with a bold statement of best rods on earth. Is it? I don't know. But we've come down to a 7.1 medium heavy and a 7.6 medium heavy. I personally like the longer rod. I feel like you can get a hook in them a little bit better. I also like the full cork handle. The deciding factor on this rod, this rod's roughly 140 bucks. This rod is roughly $80. Both rods, you're definitely getting great quality. A lot of times though, a deciding factor can be the rod's warranty. So the peace of mind of warranty can often play into getting your new combo. Ultimately, the deciding factor on rods is your budget, and that depends on each individual. This rod right here is a little bit more expensive, but this right here does the exact same thing, and it's more budget friendly, so it appeals to everybody. Everybody can own this rod, so I think that's what we're gonna go with. Now, secondly, when it comes to fishing reels, you have all kinds of options, no matter what store you're at, whether you're at Academy Bass Pro, Walmart, or any Dick Sporting Goods, or any other store that sells fishing equipment. Now, when I'm looking for this combo, I'm looking for something that is truly gonna last forever. These reels that are usually in this plastic stuff right here, these are gonna be your more, more budget friendly. You know, you have a $50 Bass Pro Mega Cast, you've got $30 Dawas, $25 Abu Garcias, more $30 Bass Pro reels, but we're gonna make our way over here to the case because personally, I don't know what it is about me, maybe you guys out there are the same way, I would rather have a better reel than a better rod. So, we're gonna ball out a little bit on the reel because if you've got a good reel and you take care of it, it's gonna last forever. Those are the ones we want. Yeah, those are the reels we want right here. These bad boys will last forever. <laughs> All right, so you've got, I mean, this can be kind of overwhelming when you're looking because you've got everything from a $100 reel right here all the way to a $560 Daiwa. Now, we're not gonna spend $560 on a reel because it's a fishing reel, and generally they all do the same thing. Now, I will say this, there are other brands that are better quality than others. So for example, they have two lose reels right here, 150 bucks, I've used those and they are very, very good. Now, one of the best reels I've ever used is this $100 Shimano SLX-A. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the brand new Shimano SLX. You can never go wrong with that reel, ever, period. I'm gonna go slightly above that, and I'm gonna go with this Shimano MGL right here. This, uh, matter of fact, John B put me on this reel. This is legitimately one of the best reels I've ever used, and you guys have seen, uh, most of you have probably seen, I bought a $1,000 <laughs> Daiwa baitcaster from Japan and still like the Shimano MGL better. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this fish catching mission to introduce you to today's video sponsor, Bespoke Post. Now you guys have seen me going all the way back to 2019 when I first ever worked with the Bespoke Post. You've got Flair's done stuff with them, Norm, Lojo, AO, everyone has done stuff with them and that's because we truly love everything about Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that delivers a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel any time. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the United States. For example, the knife in the Terra box is made by Bare Bones based in Salt Lake City. Each month, Bespoke Post introduces its members to cool new products, outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more, even live oysters, all based on a preference quiz you fill out. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods, but costs you a fraction of the value. Another awesome thing that I really love about Bespoke Post is you can preview your box before it's shipped. You'll get a box of awesome assigned to you, and before it's shipped, you'll get a preview so you can see what's inside of it, and then you you can decide number one if you want to keep it 
Number two, swap it for a different box. Or number three, skip the month entirely for no charge. You only pay for what you want. We haven't even got the third box open yet, but I can already tell you my personal favorite so far is the flip kit. This knife right here, uh -oh. it's made out of Damascus right steel and it comes with a knife sharpener and a carrying case. My second favorite kit is the one that I just received most recently and that's the Terra kit. It comes with this really awesome field knife, awesome carrying case, detox soap, and an Audubon bird call. Listen to this. Fucking calling all the birds. You know what I mean? The flip kit coming with this knife with a Damascus blade on it. This is perfect size. You can carry this thing around at the pond, on the lake, be in your pocket, put it in your boat, put it in your tackle bag, your little backpack, anything like that. This thing can always go with you. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link down in the description, enter code YAKPACK20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash yakpack20. Huge shout out to Bespoke Post for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to fishing. Line is a must have when you're fishing. In case you didn't know. So we want to spool up with something very good and very reliable. We also don't want to break the bank. Now, being in Florida, we usually go for anything between 14 and 17 pound test. With that test, you can generally do any kind of fishing you want to. You can fish a Senko on the bottom. You could fish a speed worm. I've caught uh, fish on a 7.3 medium heavy with 17 pound fluorocarbon on a frog on top water. So uh, it's, you know, you're covering every basis you need to, depending on where you are in the country, further south you get, mm, more grassy it gets, kind of the heavier pound test you want to get. And Trey is a more northern fisherman than I am, so he usually goes for like the 8 to 10 if he's up there. But being down here, 14 to 17, you can never go wrong with it. 10, 12, 14, 17. I think today we're going to go with 14. Not bad, 200 yards of line uh, for 19 bucks. Now, the reel that I got is a 150 size reel. So if I had two of those, I'd be able to spool up pretty much the whole entire reel on just one spool of this line. You mean you're not gonna get the $52? Yeah, so here we go right here. So we'll go 15 pound this, 15 pound Seaguar Tatsu, 200 yards. 14 pound, 200 yards, Bass Pro brand fluorocarbon. It's almost like $52. $20. Look at the boxes. It's almost like they're the exact same thing. It's almost like they might come from the same place. Wow. Wow. We flew down here with no tackle, so obviously we got to get something to catch the fish on. We need hooks, weights, and baits. Let's go get them. Right here we got some $7.99 for four tungsten. Or down here we got four tungsten for $5.99. And last time I checked, tungsten is tungsten. For hooks, just going to go the standard 4-all EWG. Basically goes just about anything. When fishing for largemouth in Florida, you can never go wrong with speed worm. Literally ever. They always bite it. And a speed worm is also a multi-tool. If you fish it weightless, you got a buzz bait. They'll tend. You can, you can buzz it, you can drag it, you can swim it. All you gotta do is just catch a bass on it. Just put it in the water and it it just it's like a fish magnet. Here, here, here boy. <laughs> Next up, we got an absolute fish catcher. Rattle trap black and gold, you already know. Stay trapped or get clapped. I've never seen those. These before. are literally like fresh out the grease, like brand new. Should we try one? What are they, 10 bucks? Ten. So it, it's in it's in the middle of a regular so chat you, you got the jackhammer. Everybody knows the jackhammer's gas, but they range from $16 to $22, it really depending on where you get them from. So with that being said, we already know the jackhammer's good, but we got these fresh Evos for 10 bucks, fresh out the grease. I think it would only be right to try one. We could either do that or we can try the $7.99 Bass Pro Chatter Bomb that's also made by Z-Man. Dude, Z-Man's killing the chatterbait game. I mean, look at this. Bass Pro Z-Man collab, the original Z-Man so, chatterbait. Do you know why? Do you know why Z-Man runs the chatterbait game? Why? They own a patent on that blade design, and anybody that makes a chatterbait has to go through Z-Man to get that blade. Hey, kill them with kindness. Crush your competition. Yep. You literally suffocate them out. So Z-Man, they got the chatterbait game on lock. All right, boys, we've made it to spot number one. We've got our brand new combo in total with rod, reel, line, and lures. In total, it was just over $300, which is very solid. It, you know, like Trey said earlier, you buy once, cry once. Now, are there other cheaper options to this? Yes, absolutely. Are there more expensive options? Definitely. But this is a very, very solid uh, I, I wouldn't even say all around. Combo. Yeah, it's all around, right? 
Look at that cast. Oh my gosh. Effortless with this. You guys probably hear my, oh, oh, I just bought something. You guys probably hear my freaking, there we go, there we go, there we go. First fish, second cast, new combo. Let's go, let's go. What we got? Gotta be a large mouth fight, just like a large mouth. Oh yeah, baby. Come here, boy. Come here, my boy. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. First one on the board, Trey. Oh, wow. Let's freaking go. I don't know what Trey's got going on over there. First fish on the brand new combo. Literally took two casts. Not a bad one. We definitely are looking to upgrade, though, for sure. So thanks for playing, buddy. We'll get you back and uh, try to catch something bigger. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Hey, uh, you do realize we got doubles, right? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I touched them. It counts. It counts. It has to, right? Man, it sure does feel good to lean into some fish. It has been a little minute. Me and April tried to film a video. We bought this little really, really cool kit. I'm gonna finish it, but I'll give you guys a little spoiler. Me and April bought a $100 kit from Academy and we fished four days in a row, no less than eight hours per day, not a single bite. And it, I don't know about you guys, but that, that summer to fall transition, there's another one, there's another one. Come here, baby. oh, he got off. Another large mouth, another large mouth. Let's freaking go even though I didn't touch him. I, I drug him out of the water, so it's gotta count for something, right? Oh my gosh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yes, sir, that's a good one. Yes. Come here, baby. God, he's fighting hard. Come here, baby. Oh my God. Trey, come here. That is a solid fish right there, boys. That is what we're looking for. That is every bit of a three pounder. I mean, that thing is thick and long. What did he say? Very, very solid Floridian fish right there. Man, it feels good to lean into some good ones. Holy smokes. Thank you so much for that. That was so awesome. I love you. And we'll catch you next time. After a little while, Trey and I are gonna switch up. Oh, let's go, Ooh, Trey. Baby. Let's go, Trey. Fish number two. Let's go. Little large mouth. Hey, buddy. Yes, sir. How you doing? Dude. Look how he ate that thing too. Trey's got the uh, South Florida special combo right here. It's a 510 medium or medium heavy. It's a it's a 58 medium, but let a me five, tell eight, you, medium, yeah. It's nasty for fun. With a 2500 Stratic on it. Yep. It's unbeatable when you're down here fishing in Florida. Nice little fish. Yeah. Cute little guy. Yeah. Dude, See ya. That's so sick. Dude, this real cast so good. But yeah, anyways, like I was saying, Trey and I are gonna switch combos here in a little bit. And uh, since he was the one that put this together, you know, I picked the real, but uh, You've everything caught else. Three fish on it, hadn't you? Yeah, yeah, I've already caught three, and one, one of them was three, three and a half pounds. Really? Mm hmm. So uh, we'll switch in a little oh, bit. Oh, I got another one. Do you? Yup. Another little guy, cute little guy. Oh, oh he's so oh, acrobatic. Look, 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 look there's oh, another God. one of them. Catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. Get him, get him. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> we got him. We got him. <laughs> Trey, that was insane. Did we just do that? Oh my goodness, did that was really crazy. Did we really just do that, Trey? We really just did that. Oh my god. I said, god. oh, oh, there he is. He's with him. He's with him. Catch him, catch him, catch him. No, dude, he choked it so bad. I'm going to let my little butterball go. We're going to do some surgery right quick. See ya. Yeah, he choked this. I cannot believe we just doubled on that. Oh, How do you want to grab him? Or do you want to grab him behind the head like this? No, you hold him. Okay. Almost got it. There we go. We got it. Might be okay. Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. Doubles with Trey. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane, Trey. Wow. What are we doing? What are we doing? Smashing them is what we're doing. Oh, oh. <laughs> got another one. Just a little guy. I need your mama, dude. So cool. So much fun. Can't beat it. Dude, we've literally been fishing for eight minutes. Or let me see. We've been 11 fish. minutes and we've got we've caught nine fish like this is absurd welcome to south they Florida, ladies and fighting. gents <laughs> oh my god dude what a freaking way to start the day off i say since we've already legit caught 10 largemouth i say we go try to do some peacock snakehead and really put this thing to the test let's go catch something that pulls yeah let's go catch something that does a little drag screaming 
All right, boys, spot number two. Trey has uh, been on a rip, absolutely waxing him. Yep, so we're gonna yep. go ahead and switch. Since Trey is the one that put this combo together, we're gonna try this out. We'll switch for like 20 minutes or something like that. Let's just see what this you think about it. This combo is gonna hurt my feelings because it's left-handed. Yeah, ooh, ooh a little it, lefty. It feels good, like the combo overall feels great. It's just opposite yeah. of what I'm used to. Yeah. So my retrieve's a little funky. It's a little funky. It's a little, it's got a little funk to it. <laughs> All right, all right, well, let's see what you can do with that bad boy. Got a peacock on a router crop. It's going to be a nightmare. That's some scary stuff right there. That is. That's like top 10. I'd rather go to Iraq all over again than mess with a peacock that's got a rattle trap in his mouth. I think I'm about there with you. <laughs> Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not a fan of left hand. Well, I've made about 10 casts for this left handed reel. It is not my vibe. If you fish a left handed reel, props to you it's tough eat it oh i got him let's go oh i lost him oh what was it it's a bass <laughs> i don't know how that happened overall though this combo cast great like the rod's perfect the reel is perfect other than it's on the wrong side but Hey, some people like it. If you like it, more power to you. This reel's awesome, though. I've literally got Corrados that have thousands, quite literally thousands of fish catches on them. Boom, baby. Left-handed reel. Let's go. Come here, come here, please. Come here, come here. Come here. Oh my God, it's a peacock. Let's go. Let's go. On the left-handed reel. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare, dude. Peacocks and treble hooks. Oh, this is a disaster. Oh, this is so scary. Oh, this is the scariest thing on the planet. That right there. The scariest thing on the planet. The peacock and treble hooks with no pliers. Oh. Oh no, dude. Oh, that's terrible. Let's go, boys. I finally did it. I finally caught one on this left handed reel, and that was literally no joke. This is the hardest peacock I've ever caught. Like, or that was the most difficult peacock to catch ever, literally just because that reel is on the left-hand side. Oh man, that was wild. That was so sick though, super scary, the treble hooks. Thanks for biting, buddy. Catch you next time. Got him. God, dog, I got him, I got him, baby, I got him. Big peacock, baby. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, baby. I see you. I see you. Golly, these things are so feisty, dude. He's going to shake. He's going to give me a big shake. There you go. Look at how pretty. Holy smokes. That's a good size one right there. That's a female because they don't have the humps on their heads. But first fish for me on the the OG South Florida fishing combo, beautiful colors. You can see the blue, the green, the oranges, the yellows, the reds, everything, man. Holy smokes. All right, Trey is way down there, so I'm gonna go link up with Trey and see how he's doing on the baitcaster combo. All right, buddy, we'll catch you next time. <laughs> Let's go. What are you doing? I got something for you, I got something for you. I got something for you right there, big one. Here you go. I spooked off another snake head. I'm, I got you a present, I'm done with it. Watch this. You ready? I'm gonna need your help with this tray. Oh boy. I'm gonna need your help with this. Just okay. watch. Watch and learn, puppy. Oh boy. <laughs> got him. God, dog. Bro, oh my look goodness, at this, dude. Oh, look, look at him. this. Get him, get him. Oh, oh my get God. Him. Get him. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh boy, that's a giant. Oh my god. Alright. Owie, owie. Owie, owie. 
did you guys see that fight look at this freaking bohemian that's the male like i was just saying that's got the hump head look at the mouth and the colors oh my gosh dude what a catch on the combo that trey put together earlier in this video oh my gosh that just goes to show trey put together quite literally what what could be considered one of the best fishing combos ever to be assembled for a reasonable budget and you're able to catch fish like this largemouth peacock we're gonna try to catch a snakehead too boys it don't get no better than that let's get him back because he is uh he's feisty god that hurts so bad every time all right buddy well that was very graceful of you after you destroyed my hands very thoughtful thanks bro holy smokes on the trap too there's legitimately nothing more scary than catching a peacock bass on anything that has treble hooks there's nothing more scary than that so anyways off to the next spot yep maybe yeah let's go let's go that was solid i did spook a big snakehead though did you mm -hmm. hurt my feelings i don't know a if bit. i want to mess with a snakehead treble hooks to be honest mm -mm. Oh my god. Oh, oh my. You guys see this? Do you guys see this? This is insane. Get in there, These are get giant in there. peacocks. Watch this. Oh, big peacocks. Oh my god, they're right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you see that? Do you see that? That was a legit feeding frenzy. That was wild. Oh, little one got it. Oh my God, I cannot believe we're- oh, We got that bass. on camera. There's we definitely bass. got that on camera. There's a big bass right here. That's a peacock. Oh, we gotta get away from each other. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did you just, bro, I've never in my nuts. life- They were schooling. Oh, you got a wind knot in my combo. Yeah, I've been working around that. That was probably insane. What was even more insane about that is they didn't eat. I had like three bites. God, that was epic, dude. I hope you can see all of that on the camera. That was nuts. Guys, let me know so far, what do y'all think? I know obviously you haven't put this in your hands. But let me know so far, what do y'all think about this combo? Trey, I feel like put together... I love the combo. I just hate the retrieve. Yeah. But it's just opposite hand for me. Yeah. it's a, it's a a He's talking about it being left-handed instead of a right-handed baitcaster. But I did teach myself how to use a left-hand baitcaster about two years ago, and I've never went back since then. So I think it's a great combo. I think, uh, what was the total? 320? 330? 340? Something like that. It's just slightly over 300 bucks and for the baits we got the line we got the rod and the reel 100 percent worth it in my opinion definitely a good deal go see if you catch one real quick boys let's go i got a peacock oh my goodness let's go yes oh no he broke me off i got a peacock let's go that was crazy i literally seen this peacock pitched over there to him smashed it and he broke me off no way i can't believe it that's a good one though it's like a three pounder super ow super awesome really can't beat it i love these fish so much look at that false eye right there on the tail this right here is a female colors are pretty dark that's a good fish though oh that's you'll have that Oh god, that's big. What is that? 
Oh my goodness. What do we have? Large mouth. Oh, big large mouth. No way. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Mr. Large Mouth. Let's go. Oh, God. What is going on? We got a mess. Oh, my goodness, boys. Oh, my gosh. Oh my goodness, boys. Oh, grass bass. Big large mouth. Three pounder, four pounder all day. Look at that mouth. Good one. Oh, that's so sick. Such an awesome fish. Super healthy, nice and dark, beautiful fish. Let's get him back. Back she goes, down to the depths. All right, ladies and gentlemen, wrapping this video up, we're here now in uh, Port St. Lucie, Florida. This is the furthest south academy in the state of Florida. Hopefully one day they'll open one up in West Palm Beach or Fort Lauderdale, maybe even Miami. But uh, they just opened this store about four days ago, I wanna say. They invited me out to come meet some of you guys. I just gave away a whole bunch of gift cards. They had a sign with my name on it, which is crazy. If you guys know the story about me and academy from five or six years ago, it's crazy that they invited me out to do this. So anyways, we absolutely caught some awesome fish. I thought the rod that Trey put together, the combo Trey put together, um, I thought it worked really well. I thought it was awesome. It was like 300, 320 bucks, like with everything, including baits and line. So if you already got baits and line and you're looking for just a rod and reel combo, not a bad deal. Let me know what you guys think about that combo down in the comment section. With that said, we gotta get on a flight, boys. So catch you in the next one. Love you. Peace.